The hop-up system is the most critical part of an airsoft replica when it comes to range and precision of the BBs. Over the years there have been dozens of new bucking developments and improvements trying to max out the potential given by basic physics. One of the most promising attempts in this aspect has recently been released by True Side Airsoft in Arizona, USA, the True Hop Bucking in its third generation. Let's get a closer look. For this test, I'm going to install the True Hop Gen 3 to my custom AR15 build, which previously was equipped with a classic R Hop patch. While I'm disassembling the replica in the background, let's quickly check the theory of hop up to understand why the true hop actually is such a good idea. So, here's a brief repetition. The BBs shot by us of replica get most of the range by the Magnus effect. Due to the backspin of the flying BB, the air pressure on the top side is lower than on the downside, so the BB can fly further than without the rotation. The longer the BB can be kept rotating consistently, the more range you will get out of each shot. That's why heavier BBs have a better potential for longer trajectory due to mass inertia. Again, this is very simplified, but explains why heavier BBs are preferable. As you probably know when you watch this video, the technology to achieve this effect on the BB is called hop-up. When the BB gets accelerated by air pressure, its top side is slowed down by a little piece of rubber, which is part of the hop-up bucking. The area where the BB touches the rubber is called hop-up patch, and this is where most of the magic happens. For a long time, our hop patches and similar drop-in buckings have been the modern standard for lifting heavier BBs up to 0.45 grams to get good accuracy and range. They offer a large contact surface and have been adopted by several manufacturers by now, for example Maple Leaf or Bigardi. Also, the previous Gen 2 bucking by TrueSet Airsoft has been an R-Hop drop-in bucking. But is this the end of hop-up evolution now? Or is there still room for improvement? With their new design, TrueSet Airsoft go a completely new way in terms of hop-up buckings and patch surface. After several years of developing and testing, they finally released their new bucking to the Airsoft community in the end of 2023. The Gen 3 patch uses the complete length of the barrel window, but touches the BB only on a very narrow surface. I've never seen this design so far, but the concept seems very promising to me. TrueSight claims this bucking to bring improvements mainly in terms of precision while offering just slightly less range than its predecessor. Can those marketing promises be kept? That's what I would like to test now. As I mentioned before, my AR-15 has been equipped with a classic r hop patch until now. Combined with a PDI 6.05 inner barrel and a Bigardi Neptune hop-up chamber, the setup offers the best environment for excellent accuracy. The R-Hop has been my favorite all-round option so far. I chose it over several other buckings from Maple Leaf, Bigardi, Slong or TNT in long time comparison. I decided to sacrifice this setup nevertheless, not before video testing it for the later comparison of course, and install the True Hop Gen 3 instead. It came with a reddish concave spacer with quite a flat profile, a little more flat than the Maple Leaf Omega Tensioner. Compared to the AHOP, installation is much easier than it has been with the last setup. No gluing in place, no cutting, that's the benefit of the new generation drop-in buckets. After installing the Gen 3 successfully, a look through the barrel tells that the hopper patch looks even more tiny than on the very old standard buckings you find only on the cheapest guns nowadays. I'm very curious how the shooting results will turn out at this point. Before going to the shooting range, let's measure both setup's energy first. The only difference is the bucking. All other components of the replica are the same. As you can see, the R-Hop got a performance of some good 1.35 joules here. With the true hop, energy increased about 0.1 joules. Let's see how the BBs will behave when shooting on different distances now.
The first target is about 40 meters away, as the laser rangefinder tells me. I'm aware that this is no perfect experimental environment, as I'm shooting by myself and there are other influences, such as slight wind. But those aspects apply on both setups and, in my eyes, are a better predictor of what you can expect from the buckings in reality than in some unrealistic test surroundings. Ten out of ten with a true hop. Nothing else was to expect here. Those mid-range distances should be no problem for medium-powered AEGs nowadays. I guess the R hop will perform not any worse, but let's find out. As expected, there's not much of a difference to see here. But remembering that the true hop is primarily advertised to offer more accurate results than the R hop, one could guess the trajectory of true hop is a little more stable and the grouping is tighter than on the R hop. But as mentioned before, the difference is barely seeable on this target distance. 60 meters are what I consider to be the maximum effective range of AEG replicas in this energy range. For sure you can hit targets further away, but with every meter you add, the shooting results are harder to reproduce due to environmental influence. At 60 meters, the true hop Gen 3 still hits 8 out of 10 shots. Will our hop be able to compete here? On the distance of 60 meters, my R-Hop solution was only able to hit 5 out of 10 shots on the target. Also, the direct comparison shows that the groupings of the true hop are much tighter than on the R-Hop. On the other hand, R-Hop seems to have some more range potential with the BB still flying high all the way, while the true hop shots come in on the lower end of the target. This is basically just what the manufacturer tells us. And it only makes sense when you look at the different styles of patch surface as I explained in the beginning of the video. So, after watching those test results, can the true hop Gen 3 be seen as the next generation of hop up buckets that will change the market completely from now on? Well, if you ask me, the true hop does a quite good job in terms of accuracy. But you should not expect a revolutionary new concept here. We're still dealing with airsoft here. And as long as the basic principles of physics are valid, we will never get those 100% perfect shots as we sometimes would like to have. As long as we're able to accept this, the true hop is a good bucking in my eyes. And a more than effective upgrade, especially for stock AEGs.